Hey everyone, welcome to WP Zoo. My name's Ben. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at child themes, how to activate them, and why you should use them within our range of uh, WordPress themes. It's a very simple process, so for those who maybe want to get a little bit more out of the themes in terms of adding new functionality or, or something that they really want to change from an aesthetic point of view, you can do. Um, a very simple process to install and activate a child theme, so I'll be back in a moment and I'll show you how it's done. We've made it incredibly easy for our customers to install a child theme. We have been asked in the past for uh, ways and means of creating them. And uh, we've listened to our customers and we've made the process incredibly easy for you if you choose to use a child theme. The first place that you can find it is upon initial installation of one of our WordPress themes. Following the stage process, you'll get to the final step, which is step six. Now it's here at this point that you can install a child theme. If, however, for whatever reason, you don't wish to install one at this point, then you can do it another, which we'll cover in a second. So we know that you can install a child theme from the initial activation of one of our WordPress themes by importing demo content and the actual steps process. Very easy to understand. Um, if for whatever reason you decided to skip installing a child theme at that point, don't worry too much, there actually is another place that you can install one from. If you navigate to the WP Zoom uh, options panel and you go to child theme, it's here you can install a child theme. Very simple and very easy to do. A couple of different options here. First one deals with automatic activation of the child theme. So if you check this box and install the child theme, that thing, your child theme, will become the actual active theme on your WordPress powered website. Underneath, we have options for copying uh, existing widgets, menus and customizer options, and he really recommended uh, when the first time you install a child theme. Next up, we're gonna install it, and I'll show you what to expect. So now we know there's two different ways that you can install a child theme. The initial point of installation, and if you decide to do it at a later date, you can via the theme options panel. Here you can quite clearly see that we have a child theme activated, which is a child theme of Cookly. So we know it's called Cookly Child. And you've also got the words child theme over the featured uh, image of the theme itself. Now, here at WP Zoom, we always recommend those who are comfortable with WordPress coding, those who know CSS, all of those things, use a child theme if they want to make high level changes to any of our WordPress themes. The reason for that being is that the main thing gets updated as we like to keep our themes at the very cutting edge. Any changes made to the main thing, they're gonna cause you problems further down the line. Using a child theme means that you can go to town, make your changes, and when the main thing gets updated, your subsequent child theme won't be changed in any way, shape or form. If you're looking at making simple CSS changes, maybe rounding of buttons or something like that, you could use the native WordPress customizer on the main thing. Here, you could add your custom CSS to your heart's content. If you're gonna make a lot of CSS changes, we'd recommend you use a child theme, if anything, for your own sanity. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed the time on this brief tutorial. Don't forget to check out the uh, WP Zoom blog where we offer more tutorials, advice, and showcases, that sort of thing. Look forward to next time. Take care till then.